This is Sarah Mack and welcome to Creative Magic Club. Together, we'll discover inspirational stories of creative entrepreneurs living out their dreams, doing the work they are most passionate about and building wealth in magical and fun ways. While building a six-figure income as a writer and coach, helping other women to launch their dream businesses, I've connected with so many incredible people and seen it proven again and again that you can thrive financially doing whatever it is you are passionate about. I am here to share life-changing strategies for mindset, making money, and reaching more people with your work in a business and life filled with creativity, freedom, and fun. It's going to be helpful for you if you're a healer and you're a creative person and you have a huge motherfucking vision and you're really great at helping people and you know that your skills and your tools are so, so, so life-changing. But when it comes to making more money and scaling by reaching more people, um, you're, finding it, you're finding it challenging on like what to say to communicate what I do in a way that's leading to sales. And this is a very common issue. So know that you are not alone. And um, a lot of people think like, well, my work just isn't like easy to sell or my work isn't easy to communicate or my work isn't as valuable as like if you're a business coach and you're what you help people to do is make money. And this is absolutely not true. It's complete and total lies. And it's really, really, really important that you understand that it can be easy to sell whatever it is that you do. Coming from somebody who has written and supported more than a thousand different types of entrepreneurs to share their story and sell their products and services online, I have seen a huge spectrum of what you're able to sell. But I'm specifically talking about transformational coaching. And the thing that people get tripped up on particularly when you're so good at so many different things and you're involved in conversations that impact so many different parts of people's lives, the way to package it and make it sellable is to really zoom in on one problem for one person at a time. And this does not mean that you have to put yourself in a box and you only have to become known for this thing and you can't help people in all of the ways that you help people but you have to specifically um you know that like you suddenly you're the only person who does this and then that feels very limiting and that feels like people don't really get your full identity and that you um are like having to chop off your limbs when you just focus on one thing and a lot of people throw their toys out of the pram when they hear that this is really going to help you to make more money and to serve more people. And here's the thing is you can create any uh, any number of programs that you want to create. You can help people in any number of conversations that you want to be helping people. You can teach people any number of uh, tools or skills that you're able to teach and share. But the reality is you can only do one thing at a time. And you're only going to be solving one problem for one person or one group of people at a time because you can't do it all at the same time. And when this really landed for me, when I, you know, was super inspired, put together a program, launched it, complete flop, zero dollars, and then, you know, went back to the drawing board, really figured out what I needed to know to get good at selling and marketing through content and really learn how to package and position what it was that I wanted to help people with. I relaunched it and it became one of my most successful programs ever with like, I was able to sell it really easily. I was able to attract incredible ideal clients. I had so much fun delivering it. And here's the thing is I didn't have to leave behind many of the conversations that I wanted to be having I still had those conversations in the container, but I learned how to focus on the main aspect of the transformation in 
the way I was marketing and selling. And that made it clear. It made it an easy yes for people. It made it super, super targeted at the people I really not only wanted to be working with, but was actually best positioned to work with. Because this is the truth, right? Like you can have a big vision of like, I want to heal the world. I want to make everybody healthy and I want to make everyone have amazing relationships and cool. But like, what's your embodied wisdom around that? Like, what have you actually walked through? What have you actually created in your own life? And this isn't a conversation about you not being good enough yet. This is a conversation about you really valuing where you are and really acknowledging the value that you bring to the table because of the what it is that you've embodied and particularly people who are coaches particularly people who are focused in you know transformational coaching we're always focused on the next level we're always focused on where we are not yet we're always focused on where it is that we desire to grow to and that mindset can very easily put us in a place of oh well where i am isn't valuable and where i am isn't good enough yet so that really kicks you in the butt when it comes to selling and when it comes to you know making more money and reaching more people because that's the number one prerequisite is to deeply be connected to the value of what it is that you're selling this is like the number one most important entrepreneurial skill set that shifted everything for me um and that really gave me the freedom to launch and sell whatever i wanted so that skill combined with the skills of um knowing how to package it and knowing how to sell it in a way that's aligned with what you are genuinely the most passionate about talking about. Because if you're not passionate about talking about what you're selling, it's not going to sell well. Your energy is going to be weird or you're going to have so much resistance that you're not going to be consistent enough in the ways that you want to be and in the, in the ways that you need to be to create the results that you want. So know the value of where you are and get granular like get granular on which piece of the journey your program is actually going to focus on helping people create. Bearing in mind, however long you're working with people, whether it's one month, three months, six months, like there's only so much you can do in that time. Yes, you can give people skill sets that will transform their the rest of their lifetime. But just, you know, really bring it down to earth in terms of what are you going to talk about in your first week of work together? What are you going to talk about in your second week of work together? And really just the bite sized pieces. Um, but that's all you need to get clarity on. And once people are in, obviously those other aspects of who you are and your expertise and the things that you love to talk about, that's naturally going to be become a part of the conversation. That's naturally going to provide benefit um, and support to the people who choose to work with you. But there's no way that we can talk about all of that when we're marketing because we don't want to spend loads of time marketing. We want to keep it very potent, very focused and very strategic so that when we do choose to choose to show up and share our energy and create content and promote what it is that we're selling, it works. It calls in the right people. It communicates what they need to know to make an empowered buying decision and they're able to get so much information about who you are to make it easy for them to say yes or to say no and for you to really stand out to the people who are looking for somebody like you to support them and this is why I love storytelling because there's so 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 much information that comes across in a story and when we lead with our story then that gives people the information to know are you the person to help them? Um, do you have what they want? And are you doing it in a way that they want to do it? Before we get back to the episode, I have something exciting to tell you about. There were a couple of key things that changed everything in my life as an entrepreneur that allowed me to bring in six figures while working half as many hours and having more fun than ever before in my business. It was money mindset work around how I was doing business combined with getting good at sharing strategic sales content online. I know you know that this is your year to start hitting your 10k month income goal and living the life of creative freedom and fulfillment you have been dreaming about. You're ready to be consistently attracting total dream soulmate clients through the creative content you're sharing on social media and you want to be reaching more people, charging higher rates and working much less. 
So I'm very excited to invite you to join me in Freedom Club, my mastermind, where you'll receive tailored high-level support to master the skills that will create your dream life and six-figure dream business starting now. With focused weekly trainings and coaching calls to find the clarity on your content that's going to make you the most money, to design a simple fun launch strategy you'll enjoy following through on, plus daily support and feedback from me in the Voxer chat, you'll find that sweet spot in your business where you're the most confident in your work, having the most fun and making the most money. Go to withsaramac.com forward slash freedom club to apply now. Now let's get back to the episode. So, um, when you lead with your story, you just naturally start to attract ideal clients, just you being you, you being who you are, but it is really important that you're clear on what, which, which exact pieces your work right now in this offer and this opportunity is focused on helping people with and, Um, and making sure that that's aligned with where your desire is leading you, where your passion is leading you, um, what you are truly excited to be talking about because it's meaningful for you and because you have really embodied the value and the impact of, um, of what it is that you're selling. So yeah, If you're really big picture and you're feeling like you're not sure what the value is and it's not feeling easy to talk about your work and it's not feeling easy to sell it and you're not attracting clients who are a really great match for you and it's a very easy sales conversation, then there's some clarity work to do around what you're actually selling. And that's really the alignment piece that I'm really obsessed with working on with clients because once you understand that and you understand how to apply that over and over, it really gives you the freedom to launch whatever you want to launch. Like I've continually evolved my ideal client in my business because I know I understand these principles and I know how to sell. Um, you know, my client is very similar, like they're the same person because they're like me in many ways. Um, but the parts of the journey and the parts of the transformation that I have been supporting people with in my work has drastically changed because I've wanted it to, because I have evolved. And the way that my work lights me up in my coaching business is that whatever I'm teaching is deepening my growth in that area. Um, and, and I like it that way because I'm never bored. I'm not teaching the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over. I mean, I am, but I'm coming at it from different, the different part of the conversation every time as my knowledge evolves. And I'm working with people who are in a different phase of their transformation. And actually over time in my business, it's got more and more granular and more and more specific. And that's actually become way more fun for me. And I think as a creative person, it's easy for us to get a lot of creative fulfillment from our business and actually in really refining my skills in content selling and marketing, um, it's allowed my business to take up less and less and less of my life. And it's given me more freedom to be able to create and get fulfillment through other places. (laughs) And I think that that is, um, that's often like a kind of codependent relationship that that we get into. I definitely have been in that, um, where I'm getting so much fulfillment from my business. I'm getting validation. I'm getting recognition. I'm getting appreciation. I'm getting, um, like creative excitement. I'm getting self-expression and, um, it's really fun and I have control over all of it and I'm getting really good at all of it. Um, But the less, the more I continue to lean in to where my desire is pulling me and to really lean into the topics that excite me and to really get, uh, get good at checking in with what is the most meaningful for me and to allow that to be the thing that dictates my strategy and the decisions that I'm making and who I'm helping and how I'm helping them and how I'm structuring my offers and how I'm pricing my offers, then it continues to um, feel more and more aligned and I'm building my skills in a way that's bringing me ease and bringing me 
more freedom outside of my business because I understand how to execute um, the things that make me money and the things that make the highest level of impact, the most valuable impact that I'm able to make on the clients that I'm the most excited to work with. So it can feel like a bit of a complex process, but it's actually so, so, so simple when we allow our excitement to lead. And when we really get good at the skill of acknowledging the value that we're bringing and understanding how to package it and position it and market and sell it in a way that's attracting the clients that are aligned for us to be work with, for us to be working with that feel so easy to work with. And I just did a post about this yesterday, like beyond the money, this is about the quality of your life. This is about um, enjoying your client work, enjoying your business and feeling like it's feeding you in the ways that it can and is capable of when we allow ourselves to make decisions from a place of alignment versus taking decisions from a place of scarcity. I don't believe this is going to happen or somebody told me I should do this or I've never seen this done before or this is the way I've always done it. So this is the way I'm going to continue to do it because it feels like a safe bet or I don't want to change my mind too much or I don't want to put myself in a box and I'm in resistance, but to actually really be committed and dedicated to that sweet spot that feels really, really good in the way that it's, it's really feeding us. And it's really, um, like when we succeed at it, it's a fulfillment of a desire and not just like an ego desire and not just like a tick the box, um, you know, like goalposts, arbitrary goalposts that we set for ourselves, but that actually in the day to day activity of growing and running a business is that we're growing through it and that we're fulfilled by it and that we're nourished by it beyond our financial um, remuneration, (sighs) which is so, so, so important if you don't want to burn out. And if you actually want to be an embodied leader and to do things in the way that you desire your clients to be doing it, whether you're a business coach or not. So that was my rant on how to get better at making it easy to sell your magic. Know that this is possible. Know that it's a process. And if it's, if it's feeling hard, it's just because you're in the process of, of really embodying that skill set. And I think you know, it's so easy. It's so easy technically to launch an online business. Like it's free. It's really dependent on our own time and willingness and dedication. Um, but there are skill sets that are required to succeed, to succeed at it and for it to be fun and to, for you to be good at it. Um, and these, you know, these are the skill sets that I've built my entire business on. Um, alongside money mindset. Um, So there are some really, really exciting things coming up in my business this month. One of them, um, I don't know if these are still going to be available by the time this gets, this gets published um, as a podcast, but I'm doing this as a live stream now and I'm running a special on my brand uh, astrology readings. Uh, brand story astrology readings, where I'm going to help you to really get clear on your magic, how to talk about it, um, how to attract the people that are the right fit for it, um, and to get really clear on the topics and themes and the content pieces that are going to align you and to attract the soulmate clients who are a breeze and a dream to work with. And I'm also doing a special on a six week mini mind where everybody gets a brand story, um, astrology reading with me. And then we're going to dive into six weeks together to really get clear on your content selling and making sure that you are embodying these skills and you understand how to take an inspired idea and a desire and to translate that into sales content that's attracting people into your offer. So this is for selling high high ticket coaching programs um, through your content, through storytelling. This is the skill that I have grown my business on and made multiple six figures over the past five years and had so much freedom, so much alignment, so much fulfillment. Um, 
and that has really has given me my dream life to be able to travel, to be able to create, do things outside of my business, have more and more time freedom, more and more enjoyment and alignment and real fulfillment in the work that I'm doing as I'm constantly working with new incredible soulmate clients in whatever offer I decide to launch. So this is going to be a super powerful container to really start to understand and embody these skills at a whole new level, to start attracting clients instantly, making money, raising your prices, selling the coaching programs you're really excited to be selling and delivering to the clients you're most excited to be working with. It all gets to happen. It all gets to unfold now. You are capable. Your magic is so valuable and you get to put a high ticket price tag on it. And these are the skills that are going to allow that to happen for you. So don't give up until it starts working. Keep going. You have the capacity to grow these skills. Um, so please send me a DM if this is speaking to you and you um, want to get in on the early bird rate, which is a significant um, amount of money off the rate that it will be as I gradually start to put the price up over the month. So I have lots more exciting things coming up, but I'm going to wrap this up here for today. Please share this with anybody who you know will benefit from this conversation, whose work is magic and deserves to be bought by more incredible people out there in the world and making an impact on others. And have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. My website with sarahmack.com and please support the show by liking, commenting and subscribing.